Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the funky little charger from Sky RC, the B6 Neo. It's a DC charger, 200 watt from DC, 80 watt from PD and PD 3.0 protocol. It's one of the simplest and best looking little chargers I've come across lately. I really like it, I've had a bit of a play with it. Very very simple, only three buttons here plus return and minus. You can get different color schemes as well. I'll show you them on the website in a minute. But basically, let's go through it quickly. Uh, input XT60 and USB-C and output XT60 and up to 6S charging. In the box, all we get really is the charger and a quick start guide there. So as an input, you can use a big battery like that. You can use a little power supply like that or USB-C via a USB-C charging brick. Now, let's get straight into it, plug it in and see what happens. So plugging in the big battery there, see it turns on, gives a warning, get rid of that. And we get the screen showing up there. My input battery is a 4S3300. And I might just turn that display down a bit. Okay, there we can see the display a little bit better if I keep the reflections off. So I'll plug the battery I want to charge in now. Before we plug the battery that we're going to charge in, we can actually set up the uh, under charge settings, battery type, lipo, all of the varial, varial sites, even uh, lead acid batteries. Cells, if it's not automatically detecting, which it does usually automatic, automatically detect the number of cells, you can choose that. Choose the type of charging, balance charge, straight charge, storage or total discharge if you're going to throw your battery out. Just using XD60 around that way and the balance plug as well. And you can see on the screen we get uh, current voltage. And we can also get uh, individual uh, cell voltages by clicking through uh, internal battery resistance. When it starts up, I think, that's not showing it at the moment. Input voltage and uh, cutoff voltage. So cutoff voltage is a safety level so that you don't run your input battery down uh, too far. And let's get it starting. And now we're charging. You can see the current voltage. Charge current, that is, at the moment it's set to 3 amps, so that will only go to 3 amps. It can go up to 10 amps. I'll show you all of that stuff later on. And it shows you the uh, watts of power being used, uh, milliamp hours, time, and uh, how many watt hours as well. So we just let that chug away. Now we can have a look at the individual cell voltages, internal resistance. Battery's getting a bit old. Uh, stop, no, we don't want to stop. We can just go back. So let's go and have a look at some of the settings now. Long press of the return button, task parameters, got a safety timer, maximum capacity, trickle charge, holding voltage, and back, system settings, language, language, English, and France, German, and a couple of um, Asian languages. Minimum input voltage, so you don't ruin your input battery i would lift that up i think to and what's a good level 14.5 just so i don't ruin my 4s battery lcd backlight level volume completion signal once or repeated and back dc power we can also use this as a power supply. So this is the uh, voltage and current limit you can set. So you can use it as a hot wire cutting um, power supply or power supply for other, other purposes, for checking your RC setup or something like that. Use it as a battery meter as well. And reset to factory settings and system info, uh, firmware version and hardware version. And firmware upgrade as well and back. Let's stop it now and have a look at some of the other functions. If we pull out that battery there, we get an alert. Now, 
let's just try the battery level checking. In that case, you just plug the balance port in. And we get individual cell voltages and total voltage and the, uh, the difference between each cell. And that's all there is with that one. Power supply. Let's try that one now. Plug in your supply battery. Long press to get into parameters, DC power. Uh, so voltage, we can change the output voltage to whatever we want. And for hot wire cutting, it's, it's very useful to be able to set the current. Uh, and I generally set my current at five amps for hot wire cutting, uh, for my hot wire bow. And you can set the current and it will just vary the voltage accordingly. Current can go up to, I think it's 10 amps. Current maximum of 10 amps. Let's leave it at three for the moment. Final charge voltage. Let's just leave it on default. Charge current. You go right up to 10 amps if you want to, but that's uh, it's a bit too much. And then we push start to get it going. Now I've got a 2S battery here. I'll plug that one in just to show that it actually does detect how many cells. Uh, I've already plugged it in before, so it's already detected it. And bingo, off we go. So that's basically the function of the little charger. Let's, let's go over to the website now and have a look, closer look at some of the specs and some of the features. Now over at the Radio Master product page, uh, you can see it's $39.99. Uh, and uh, if we scroll down, I'll just show you some of the salient points. Uh, these are all the different colors you can get it in. Um, pretty groovy. And you can see this is the, the kind of the upgrade of the classic the first charger I ever owned, and a lot, the first charger a lot of people owned too, I think the old IMAX B6, I bought mine about 10 years ago, I think, uh, but they're saying it was uh, available from 2006. So yeah, the old metal case blue IMAX B6 has been upgraded to the B6 Neo, look at that. And the instruction manual, uh, you need to go to the Sky RC website for the instruction manual. So this is over at Sky RC, and if we scroll down, uh, oh, it's a, it's a really interactive <laughs> uh, website, this one. Scroll right down to the bottom of the uh, B6neo page, and you can see the instruction manual here, and you can just download it. And what I'll do at the end of the video is I'll scroll through the manual to a little bit of music, so uh, those who like looking at manuals can pause it and check it out in detail. But so there you go. As I said, it's a cool little charger. Very, very easy to use. Uh, it's one of the simplest chargers and you know best looking chargers I've found, I think. Uh, I really like it. The Sky RC B6 Neo from Radio Master. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.